Okay, welcome back everyone. Let's start with number 19. Okay, question number 19. The three different points A, B, and C lie on a line in that order. Okay, so the coordinate of the A is 1, 1, and the point B is 2, 4. If the ratio of uh, the segment A, B, and B, C is equal to 2 to 1, which of the following is the coordinate of C? Okay, for this kind of problem, let's draw a coordinate. It says point A is 1, 1. One comma one lies here. One comma one, and the point B lies in uh, two comma four. Two comma four. One two three four. Okay, so one comma one here. 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, here. Okay, uh, and the segment AB to the BCC is somewhere up here, right? It's 2 to 1. Okay, 2 to 1. We are given point A is 1, 1, and B is 2, 4. And C lies somewhere up here, but the ratio is 2 to 1, right? 2 to 1. So, uh, from point A to B in the x axis, it has moved one unit, right? It has moved one unit. And to the um, y side, the, the point has moved three points, three units, right? Three units. So, we can draw a little triangle up here. If one unit has moved right and the three units to the up, and the ratio was two here, right? And the ratio here is one. So um, if had if in a big triangle, if the unit has moved one unit to the right, in a small triangle, the unit should have moved point uh, five, right? Point five units to the right. And then, if in a big triangle, if, if the y have moved uh, three units up, then in a small triangle, it should have moved 1.5 units up, right? So in this logic, you can uh, say that from the point 2 comma 4, the, to the right side, it has used uh, point 5. So the new coordinate is 2.5 comma. Since from the uh, 4, the u new point has moved 1.5 units upward. Therefore, if you add 4 to uh, 1.5, you get 5.5, right? So, the new coordinate should be 2.5, comma, 5, comma, 5.5. <clears throat> okay, so the answer is B, 2, comma, 5, uh, and 5, 5.5. Okay, let's move on to the next question, number 20. If f and x is equal to x to the third power minus x, which of the following statements are true? For this kind of question, uh, you should do it one by one. The first statement says f and x is equal to when you put f negative x. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we already know that f and x is equal to x to the third power minus x. Let's see it, if it's right. Um, negative x to the third power minus negative x is equal to negative x to the third power plus x, right? And um, this is, is it, is it correct? No, this is not true. Why? Because there's no negative here, but there's negative I see here, and there's negative here, but I see positive here. So this is not true. So first statement is not true. Let's look at the answer choice two. Second statement, it says, that the f and x is equal to negative f to the negative x. Okay, so we already know that f and x power is neg x to the third power minus x, and it should be equal to. Okay, we already figured this out in uh, in the first statement. It was negative x to the third plus x, right? But we see one more negative sign here, which will make.